Hi, I'm Will Benedix with the Proctor Dealerships and welcome to Proctor Car Tips. Today we'll be focusing on the history of leasing and why it's important. So what is leasing and how did it begin? Leasing is rapidly becoming one of the most popular ways to finance your vehicle. Six years ago, less than one sixth of the cars sold were leased. This year, we're on track to lease over 25% of the cars in the United States. To take a look at what leasing is, we have to understand how it began. In about 2000 BC, in Sumer and Mesopotamia, people couldn't afford the land to do the crop sharing with. So they would lease or rent the land to the farmers who would grow the vegetables and the crops on it to feed everybody in the entire village. When they were done, the land was taken back by the king and then leased or lent out to somebody else. Leasing became popular in the United States in the early 1800s. The railroad barons trying to expand all across the United States to bring us all together didn't have enough money to build both the tracks and buy the trains for them. They would build the tracks and conglomerate banks would buy these trains and they would lease the trains to the railroad barons. After three or four years of paying for them, the banks would take the trains back and lease them to the next railroad baron. This way, they had the capital outlay to build the tracks and didn't have to worry about being able to afford the trains as well. In the 250 years since leasing started in the United States, it has become the most popular way for companies to expense their products. 497 of the Fortune 500 companies currently lease everything from their computer systems, their printers, their fleet vehicles, and their heavy equipment. Eight out of 10 businesses in the United States, including small mom and pop businesses, to the largest companies you can imagine, currently lease their equipment. The reason they do is because it makes more fiscal and financial sense for them to do so. If it does for big companies, why doesn't it for us? We'll look at that next video, where we'll be comparing leasing your new vehicle versus purchasing your new vehicle. I'm Will Benedix. If you have a question, please comment below or click subscribe for more Proctor Car Tips.